Maddie Nilsson. And this is the weakest event for Boise State as a team, and at number 19, still top 20 scores. So love, take that I know, in context. I love that it's so like, like oh, they're weak events. Take like it in context. Teams, yeah, these teams, they're just incredible. Huge double pike for Nielsen. You see here, she has that mat on the ground. There will be no deduction for that. That's just to protect the gymnast bodies. You can see her knee is wrapped. Um, a lot of times by the time you get to college gymnastics, you're, you're old, you're an old athlete, and your body has taken some wear and tear. So the coaches are very smart. They take care of their girls. They'll put those mats out to soften the landing for some of them. It just sounds silly. You're 21 I know, isn't and you're funny? old. These grandmas out there. <laughs> Back one and a half into the front lay. Again, just like on beam on floor, we are looking for the gymnast to tumble both forward and backwards. We need to see that they are capable of that variety. We're also looking for tumbling passes with two flips in them, which that back one and a half front leg counted for. We're gonna see her final pass. She is a strong twister. She's going to do something called a front rudy, which is a front flip with a one and a half twist. We wanna see the chest up as she takes off for that flip and the chest up as she lands. Very strong opening set for Boise State. Maddie Nielsen. We'll take a look back at her first pass now. Opens up with a big double pike. Again, that mat on the floor is no deduction, solid lunge. Shows a lot of control. That's really just what the judges are looking for on these landings is a lot of control. They don't want to see that they're landing too far back and falling forward. They don't want to see that they're running out of their passes. Beautiful, Rudy. We're looking for the chest. The flip needs to be done at at least shoulder height to 